Welcome back nail queens. Today we're doing builder gel on short natural nails. No forms, no extra stuff, just natural. As you can see here, I did a major chop of my nails and I removed all of my builder gel so I'm ready for a fresh set. Before I get started, I want to disinfect my nails, cleanse them, sanitize them, so I'm using isopropyl alcohol. This is from Sierra's Nail Glitter World. It is super cute. She put these cute little glitter pieces in it and it's a scented one. You don't have to buy this, you can buy any isopropyl alcohol that you have. but. I just figured it's cute and then I'm gonna wipe off all of my nails with a cotton ball and make sure that all of the rubbing alcohol gets my nail plate nice and clean now three of my nails are already done but this one my index and my thumb are not done so these three are and these two aren't so I'm gonna be doing these two on camera today the first thing I'm gonna do is protein bond you guys know I love this product. I swear by it. It helps prevent lifting. We don't want lifting on our nails. Lifting can damage your nail bed. So I will do everything in my power to ensure that my nail products on my nails do not lift. So I apply two coats of this to my nails, let it dry, and then go on into my gel base. Protein Bond does leave a tacky, sticky layer, so it's not going to feel dry dry, but you'll know when it doesn't have a sheen of shine anymore. Then for my gel base, I'm going to apply a thin layer of gel base. This is the Nail Addict LA gel base. I absolutely love it. And if you need to save some money, I have a discount code down below because their gel products are kind of on the higher end price range. Now that my nails are done curing, I'm going to work on applying Builder Gel. I have this Builder Gel brush from Triple D. I've been using it ever since I started applying Builder Gel to my nails, and I absolutely love it. This is her Pink Opulent Builder Gel. What it does is it gives you a nice pink sheen to your nails. It's not clear, so it kind of like hides any imperfections you might have on your nails. So on my brush, there is a bead on one side of my brush. That's because I glided my brush across the jar. I didn't dunk it in there, so you don't have to dunk your brush in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply this bead towards like the middle upper half of my nail and then work on floating it around my entire nail bed. It is going to take me a couple beads to really cover my entire nail. My thumb is my biggest nail, so it is going to take me just a couple of beads of builder gel to fully cover it. What I really like about this brush is that it has a rounded like oval edge on the top so it allows me to get in my cuticle area in the corners really easily and it's a nice flat brush. It doesn't fan out so I don't have to worry about it pulling product in areas that I don't want it to. I control 100% where the product goes. Now it's time to evaluate how well I've applied this. So I want my nail to have a little curve to it. My short nails don't need an apex, but I do want a natural curve from my cuticle to my free edge. So I think it needs a little bit more work. So what I like to do in order to um, help that curve along is flip my hand or my finger with the builder gel on it upside down for about 10 to 30 seconds. This helps the builder gel naturally pull and level to the center of the nail and make it have a natural curve. 
So when I'm happy with that, then I go ahead and flash cure the nail. Now that that nail is flash cured, I go ahead and work on the next nail. If you don't know what flash curing is, it means you're putting your nail in your lamp for about 10 to 15 seconds to hold the gel in place to stop it from moving around, but it's not fully cured. So I'm going to work on my index finger here, as you guys can see, and then after this one's ready, then I'm going to fully cure these two nails for 60 seconds. If you haven't noticed, right now I'm using a different brush. This is the brush from Triple D's 3-pack travel brushes. So I really wanted to get a feel for this one. It is a smaller travel brush. It is not her full-size builder gel brush and it has a completely flat edge, not rounded edge. So I really wanted to try it and see how this would work with builder gel. That is the intended use for this travel pack. So. So far I'm liking it. I do like the other full size one more, maybe because I'm already used to it and I've been using it for so long, but you know, this one isn't bad. So what I just did here is I took my builder gel and focused it on the middle of my nail. I created like a stripe down the middle of my nail to help make sure that there was like um, a nice curve. So it's like focusing all the builder gel in the center so that when I flip it upside down, um, to let it level, it's already, for the most part, most of the product is already there. So you can see it's working on its curve right there. It's not perfect, but it's, it's basically there. So after letting it level, I love it. I love the curve. I love how it turned out. So I'm going to cure it in my nail lamp for a full 60 seconds. Everything is almost done now, so it's fully cured. It's cured for 60 seconds in my nail lamp, but I'm taking rubbing alcohol right now and I'm removing the inhibition layer, which is the tacky layer. So when you're using builder gel, you'll notice after you cure it, it has a sticky layer onto it. You have to remove that or else it's just gonna be sticky and you're gonna get dust and hair particles and everything in it. But this is what my nails look like before and then this is what my nails look like now and I absolutely love this pink opulent builder gel and how it looks on my shorties. It's a completely new vibe for me. So yeah, if you want to see any shorty manicures and the designs I've been doing on my nails, be sure to check out on my Instagram because there's a lot of designs that I do there that I don't post on YouTube.